yeah. for a lot of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Total surrender and living in surrender is listening for the sound of his voice. What is he saying? What is he speaking? And even more importantly, what does he say about me? When I was in high school, I I was kind of going through a lot in my own family, in my own life. Uh, my mom had just uh, married my third stepfather uh, just before I entered high school. And I had been abused by stepfathers before that. And so I was already, because of my family circumstances, I was coming into high school with a lot of pain and a lot of anger and also kind of I had just kind of come into this place where I kind of snapped and I was like, I'm done and I'm, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna defend myself, I'm, I'm done with being abused, I'm done with being hurt. And in one sense, I kind of put my walls up, kind of went into my fortress at that moment. But there's also this other part of me that um, was just really looking for the love and approval and acceptance. And um, so, High school for me, it was interesting because I was kind of living two lives. I was living a life where I was um, I was pretty popular in high school. I was a people person. I had friends across the board. I didn't, you know, necessarily belong to one certain group or clique or whatever kids call it these days. Um, but I had kind of friends everywhere and I was part of student council and I, um, I did track, I did basketball, I um, was in theater, you know, all the different things that was out there. But the other side of that, the kind of darker side was where I was depressed, I was partying, I was trying to fill those voids and that emptiness that I felt with uh, other things. And um, my mom and my stepdad, they took us to church. I went to church, um, but I kind of ran through the motions just trying to make my family happy. And it wasn't really um, real for me, you know? And it wasn't until uh, I was a senior in high school and I kind of reached the, the end. I, I couldn't cope with the anger and the depression that I felt anymore. I couldn't cope with um, the the pain that I had been carrying and um, the, the double life that I had been living. And um, I decided I wanted to end my life. And I, I tried, I attempted that, it didn't work. And when I woke up and I wasn't dead, the first thing I thought in my head was, God must really be real. And all I could think about was that I think he loves me. And I even felt scared to say that or admit it, but I could feel it in that moment. And I could feel him close to me. And I'd never felt that before. And I just surrendered my life in that moment and said, I will follow you and serve you and I'll never look back but you gotta set me free. And I think that that story is a unique story in that it's my story, but I think it's the story of a lot of high schoolers. I don't think there's a ton of difference between way back then when I was in high school and high schoolers now, the things that they're facing and caring and the answers that they're looking for. I think they need Jesus um, just as much as I did back then. <laughs>